tall in this city for classical music and it's because my student is performing with the youth orchestra and I came to support her so I'm excited to see her and super excited to make all my students be part of this orchestra. Yesterday we did not clean all the things before going to bed and now I don't want to do the breakfast So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean then once everything is clean then we're gonna have breakfast I'll make coffee first actually We went through our jobs and we were like, you know, we spent so much money for a bag of coffee. And this brand, the brand that I always talk about, they're like $16 a bag. Anyway, we were like, we'll get through our jobs. And this is like $5 for this whole bag. So I think you know where I'm going with this. This in the morning tastes like somebody took charcoal, put them on a cup and then poured over some hot water. And it might be because I really love coffee and I'm picking up all my coffee. But I look forward to buying that coffee that I just showed you. This one is decaf. Anyway, I'm gonna do now this coffee. What says it though? It's because I always have very good milk with it. And if you have your coffee block, do not drink this. Unless you really like coffee at diners. Because I usually go to those places because breakfast is amazing. And I also have a new Monster Relief, which I'm very proud of. Because this plant is taking over the house and I'm looking forward to seeing what it can become, I think it can become great things, maybe as great as our entire living room. to the Christmas market in Baltimore and got hot chocolate but was in this mug and they just opened yesterday so my plan is to go with this mug and get hot chocolate in the same mug because they have the option I'm not being weird okay they have the option of getting hot chocolate in a plastic mug but they want to be all festive and pay extra like $15 to buy this so I felt festive last year I'm not gonna pay every year so if this didn't break I'll take you along with me I don't know maybe it's gonna happen in like a few days Look who's awake. Look who's awake. I said it. 
Avocado. This little sweet girl, we take her in the morning to hang out with us. She usually sleeps alone in the living room. And then in the morning, when we wake up, we take her. What I wanted to show though is that she absolutely hated to be lifted up. And now she actually stays in your arms for like six minutes, six seconds. See? And now she doesn't want to. So I'll let her go. She likes to be squished. Sometimes not today. I just finished one video obviously i'm all dressed up and that means that i recorded a video that's gonna be more like educational video i don't know why i feel like this it's not like pressure but i feel this responsibility in a way that i have to be presentable i have to speak very eloquent i have to make sure that whatever i say that's an advice it has to be in the best form possible anyway but i wanted to show you this outfit because this is the style that i'm going for in the future so i have this cardigan from old navy and these pants from old navy that i usually play my gigs but today i decided that i can use them for my recording session and long socks <laughs> i have makeup on and i really don't actually like makeup especially when it comes to like foundation concealer highlights i don't like how it can hurt my skin also when i practice i don't like foundation getting to my violin or into my little towels that i use also ben's birthday is in just a few days and i want to pack his gift i'm actually very excited for it because when he had his recital back in September, September, family members gave him a gift card to a very fancy restaurant we haven't gotten there you know when you go 
out to have soup like we did yesterday in Towson. That is one kind of day, like no effort goes into it. But then when you're like one of the fanciest restaurants in town, you have to look nice. It has to be a good event. I wouldn't want to waste money or waste time or waste a great opportunity. I'm very excited for that. Now I'm gonna go wash my face, get back my cozy outfit, do some other things through the house. And then I also really, really want to practice. I feel like out of all this whole face thing, I will only keep contacts on. I don't like pimples on my face, so also I know my hair is greasy. But I will take care of it later. Later today, I'm gonna meet with my my, my dad. Oh, I feel like I never talk about this thing. I don't think I'll ever feel like completely comfortable talking about things like that. But around this time last year, my mom passed. And I feel like the year went by. and But now we are at the part of the year where everything reminds me of her. For example, like we have these beautiful trees that have the most beautiful leaves during autumn and i remember that those leaves were the exact same color as this year when i went to see mom in the hospital grieving is hard because sometimes it's easy to think that other people are allowed to grieve more someone is more allowed to grieve than you are because of the relationship that they had with the person and i felt that first when my brother passed away and i remember how hard it was for me but then i kept thinking well so much harder for his wife it's so much harder for his kids it's so much harder for my parents losing their oldest son so i felt like it wasn't right for me to feel this way the thing that i had to be is be strong for my parents and be strong for my siblings and, and then i feel like when my mom passed i also had that i had to be strong for my dad because he lost a lifelong partner in september would have been 50 years of marriage together yeah grief is a tough thing but it had then helped me walk through it, which is really nice. I just feel like I often talk of my mom and I feel like it's important that I talk about her. But I feel like every time when I talk about her, I get very sad. But I don't want to feel like, oh, my YouTube videos have to be always extra positive because that's what I am aiming for. But even though when I will mention my mom or the things that she did or things that she loved, the amazing food that she did or the things that she taught me in life and the person that she helped me become, like that I'll be sad. I think that that's totally fine and i'll keep doing that okay changing the subject this is the makeup that i did because i knew it would look nice in the video but if i'll show you this is so bad obviously it's gonna give me pimples also my face gets very red when i touch it so how about i'll see you on the other side when i took all the makeup this is my face without makeup and i feel like this is still me i don't have to put 500 pounds of foundation too i mean it's nothing wrong with that whatever makes people comfortable i just feel like for me you never see this side of my face but i feel like this side of my face has always been so angry at me and so problematic so i feel like if i only do facial care stuff like including sunscreen it's enough for me and then when i go out the only thing that i will do i will do my eyebrows um like with my pencil and then put my skin on and then i'm done <laughs> the new one Sarah but I think I already talked about it so I'm not gonna know you anymore with my plans do you want to pack a gift with me okay then let's do it <laughs> One thing that I really like about our relationship is that when it comes to gifts, especially birthday gifts, we made it important to ourselves that we want gifts that are cheap but meaningful. I always love for those commercials that are on TV, especially for Black Friday or Christmas. Oh, you can buy your wife her dream car. What healthy marriage would like one of the people in the marriage spend like $70,000 and not be in trouble? Isn't that supposed to be a decision made by both parties so when it comes to these kind of small gifts i find it actually sometimes very difficult to find a gift for my birthday and got me pajamas i really found very comfortable and i love it so much and i don't know like even like a little birthday card or just i know last year for his birthday what i did i just like took him to a restaurant that had a french dish ratatouille that i really wanted to try well I thought it would be nice for him to try it too. Now I'm going to pop. I don't want to show you what I get to him because I feel like, you know, that's okay. 
personal. I'm terrible at talking, by the way. And when you become known from something like that, like you don't want to put in effort. It's like if I'm known for packing terribly, why would I even try? Because sometimes I even try and then it's still bad. I mean, I pack badly between the two of us. Bam, when he packs, he packs it so nicely and so beautifully. And I'm just like, well, they're gonna rip out the paper anyway. So what's the point of just trying so hard? Five minutes later, the package is ready and I will tell Ben to not look in the back. End of November, December is time when people usually shop for planners. I already got two things that I'm going to use this year. One of these planners I've been using since 2019. I love the layout that it has. I actually got one for 2024. You can always pick a different design. For every year I have different ones. And actually, let me show you all of them. <laughs> they keep adding up. First one, I bought it in 2019, but it's for 2020. That's how many I have. 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. I will show you the new one and how it looks like because obviously it's new, so it's very cute. I bought it actually two months ago because I was ready. I'm a performer and a violin teacher, so I always live by the schedule of school. So I always need to have clarity until May. Even when September starts, I just need to know what happens until May. So that's why I purchased it. When I first open it, I have this beautiful cover. It's always different pictures for the one with the plants we have this for the one with also with plants we have a little plant study and this one actually is very cute because i live in baltimore so seeing the little oreo here was so cute back to the planner you can put in your personal data here then you have a calendar for 2024 then 2025 just in case then the layout goes like this and then let's look at august this is the layout and at the back we also have a little area for names and addresses and the international phone codes and stuff Speaking of practical gift for Christmas, I think that these planners are very nice. It's been very comfortable for me to use them. I want to show you a few pages that are actually completed. Some of them that look like this. Because it's so simple, you can really make it fun. Three weeks of school left. This is 2022. It was like three weeks of school left. When did they care about that? But it was when I was back in school. That was very important. Last three weeks feel like the longest time in the world. Earlier one, you can see how different that is. 2021. I think that my writing has become more and more tidy over years, but also much, much smaller. Like, do you see how? The reason it says duty there, it's because I was working as a resident assistant. Oh, look at that. Isn't this cute? Anyway, if I show you a page from the first one ever, I'm like afraid to even... Yeah, do you see how big it was when I first got the planner? Like the writing was quite big. But then, this year, it's something like this. Stickers are my guilty pleasure, so sometimes I use them, but I never will admit that ever again. Sometimes when my Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are incredibly difficult, when I get to Thursday, I put the paper like that on because I don't want to know what happened before. And that way I can move on to the next days of the week. This this is planner number one that I'm going to use. Another planner that we'll be using this year. It's a discovery that I made halfway through the year. And it was because, I don't know if you remember from my old vlogs, when I used to practice, I used to have these sticky notes by Noted. And there I would write down my schedule of the day, like the whole day. We would be waking up at 6 a.m. or waking up at 7 a.m. What time is breakfast? What time is working out? And then I would also write down my practicing and what exactly I did during my practicing. So I realized that but after that, I would throw away the sticky note the next day and write down a new one. But I didn't like the idea that I can never go back and double check my progress and double check what exactly I did. So this is what I got. I use a little rubber band to keep it together. Let me show you the new one that just arrived. A Hibonichi Techo Planner. It's one page a day planner. You have to be very careful. The company is massive and they have so many options. Watch me open it the wrong way. Look, it says open here and I open the other side. So this is how it looks like. Um, it comes with a little techo planner. It says what you're holding in your hand is a techo, a Japanese daily planner. Actually, there are many, many things that I love about this planner. So first, Hobonichi and then the year. It's here. It comes in a leather binding. So it's very fragile. That's why for the one that I use now, I bought a case. Obviously, when I switch to the new one, I'll just transfer the case to this one. So I won't have to buy every time over and over again. 
and I don't even know how to start. Well, it's Japanese, so that means the first day of the week is actually Monday, not Sunday. That's a big difference. And also, the way they count the weeks is different. They count the weeks. Week number one is like week number one. If it starts on Wednesday, it's gonna be week number one, or Friday, week number one. When in the United States, the week counting starts always a full week, it's number one. But that's the only big difference in the dates. When you first open it, <laughs> let me get closer. When you first open it, you have the year here, right? And then you have calendar in this format. And then here you have habits. I wonder if I, every time when I want to show like something of my planner is this, I don't want things to come out that I don't want people to know about. This is how I divided that page that is for the habits or whatever you want to track. And in my case, what I was tracking, number one, me reading Bible during the year. Then number two, I was tracking my weight every day. And then kept track about my workout routine. Then keep track of my violin practice. And lastly, how often I post my YouTube videos. That's why they are divided in five, but you can divide them literally anything you want because it's so blank and that's mainly what I love about this planner it just gives you so much freedom to do whatever you want and then after those habits or whatever things are done you end up with a schedule that's this way and do you see how you have these little squares throughout the whole time so you can be very tidy if you love tidy things and organized things it's incredibly nice and then you also have schedule for 2025 just a little bit of it you have for the month of January February and March turning the page to a new year. That's how the layout of a page looks like. And then every time there are these little quotes, Hibonichi, I'm not sure, I'm sorry for the construction, but I'll keep talking because they've been working nonstop. You know what it's like to have a construction next to your house. So the person that's running the company, they are known for having daily diary, basically. You go in and every day he's posting something. Sometimes that's very deep, sometimes that's very light, sometimes it's very profound, sometimes it's very funny. So it's always these different things, but then they use those moments like they use quotes from those posts so even like first one is very short break everything down into manageable parts every two days you have a different quote what do you consider beautiful where does that beauty come from beauty may be created by the ideas of the time or it may be created by the economic system one thing that is for certain is that the standards and accepted ideas of beauty each era creates are completely arbitrary that's so cool like i told you some of them are very profound there were like some quotes in the one i'm using this year that i literally have to like put little hearts around it this is a quote that i put like a smiley face next to oh it's such a hustle such a hustle such a hustle every single thing is a hustle everything that i want for myself takes such a lot of effort but that effort is what i actually wanted to do in the first place it's fun making an effort over things to tell the truth. That's very cute and very encouraging. I'll be very quick. So it goes like this throughout the entire thing. And every time on the first of a month, you have a little page that you kind of can write down. What are the things that you're hoping for for the month? Or you can write down anything you want. And then at the end, you have like the personal notes if you lose it and someone wants to give it back to you. And then for this year, we have like a different layout. And then this one is an interview with myself. Well, if you ever get this you're gonna do that because this question is actually very cute that's it there's like my top 100 you can do my top 100 whatever and then a few blank pages if you buy the case the case is gonna come with little thing it also comes with little holders just don't use them often then you will also have extra pockets so here i keep all my stickers on this side then it has another pocket here and then another pocket here that also has stickers and my ruler that i love very much that's it these are my two planners for this year. I definitely recommend them. They're fun. They're great. If you use a planner that you enjoy and love, let me know. Because I know that a lot of times these planners are something that we are used to. We have a system in place and we enjoy it. So if you would like to share that with me, I will really appreciate it. I just stopped to make a little bit of lunch. This is what we are going to do. Besides the dumplings, I'm also gonna make a salad, pepper, tomato, cucumbers, avocado, and hearts of hops.
I just started printing out some Polaroids. The other day, I asked my friend, thank you, KP, <laughs> to let me use her instant Polaroids because I saw this beautiful idea on having important photos from your life on your fridge. They wanted to buy it, but to me, it was too expensive for just one project that I'm gonna do. I ended up buying this. So the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to just look through my photos, find the ones that are very meaningful to me, and I'm going to put them on my fridge. I turned the camera this way because she's so loud when she's bathing, so at least you know who's making these noises. I just realized that for this project, I will need to water more magnets. That will also give me time to sort of go through photos and see which ones I really want to be on the fridge, but this is what I have so far. currently probably like three or four hours later i just wanted to show you how picky i am when it comes to editing my video and especially when i make educational ones when i'm sharing sort of my knowledge and i want to help you with your music stuff and music struggles or music things that we both do the same but for example i started with a section that was 30 minutes long three zero and i just finished that section and in total i squished it to four minutes and 36 seconds and i did that during the past four hours so I'm Sometimes I feel like the fact that I, as a musician, have been taught so much about details and about the flow of a piece or like so many beautiful things when it comes to music and violin, that just goes into the way I edit videos. There are certain things that I do and I can't even explain why they feel wrong and feel annoying until I fix them. And then when I actually think about it, oh, this is just music. I find it so cool. And I truly believe that music is that. It gives you all these beautiful skills, even in life, if you did music and then you chose not to do it anymore it gave you so much parents that teach their kids music you are doing so much for your kids like so much since i'm talking about the music and i got so emotional i want to share that one thing that i really loved about the youth concert that i went to on sunday is that all the beautiful speeches that were made before the pieces and at some point a conductor said that an important thing that all these kids are learning in this orchestra is how to do things together because in life it's so important to do things alone and do them well but it's also important to do things together and be able to do it together and do it well as a group i just found that very encouraging and very beautiful and just a reminder of how beautiful music is Both look the same. Oh, my God. 